Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some catfish that got caught and called out. I'm in a weird mood. The difference between celebrities on Instagram versus real life will blow your mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. I always love looking at these because it definitely makes me feel a little less weird about, you know, maybe my makeup doesn't look like it does in like a filtered photo. That's okay. My thing is like, especially with like Getty images, you can go and find unedited images on the internet like quite easily, especially when it comes to like a Getty image that was like a photographer that photographed an event. Why would you do it if you know you're gonna get caught? Views, views, views. But then again, now we have people that are actually paying paparazzi to Photoshop the images. So there is no alternate version out there. That's why we need to remind ourselves that even the people that we idolize and want to look like don't look like that. You guys want to see my mustache? Still a boss, even with a mustache. <laughs> yes, queen. Skin that looks like this actually looks like this. Mm -hmm. Skin that looks like this actually looks like this. Mm -hmm. Skin that looks like this actually looks like this. These women look beautiful in every picture. However, let's not expect makeup to give us porcelain doll skin because we're humans with pores and texture. I will be honest though, there is certain lighting that makes skin look worse. Like, have you ever been outside on like a semi cloudy day, like overcast, and you like take a look at yourself in your selfie camera or in a mirror and you're just like, Ew. But then you could look at yourself where, you know, you're in front of a window or in front of like a beauty light, for example. This is a very nice, bright beauty light. And I like the way I look. Gotta understand that it's a lot of it is lighting. A lot of it is like also like the back camera on your iPhone. It makes you a lot uglier than you actually are. There's like an auto sharpen on that. That's like, whoa, time for Botox. Exposing. Madison Beer. Photoshop fail. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So now we know she modified her waist to make it look smaller. It's already so small. Like even if we moved it back, like it would already be so small. Rulers really be out here calling people out. Like it's not that much of a difference. Realistically, her waist is already small, but like, there's a difference. And that difference could be the difference between, you know, you seeing an image of someone and feeling like, oh, I can totally like see my body and like that makes me feel represented and feeling like, holy crap, I need to lose weight. Look how skinny Madison Beer is except she's not that skinny. It's not real. What does that mean? Keep in mind there is such a thing as, you know, angles being like morning skinny when you first wake up and you're a lot skinnier because you like haven't consumed food yet. That makes us look bigger than we are. Social media is a highlight reel. Oh, dang. Are we catching and calling out catfish or are they calling out themselves? Trick question. I actually know of this TikToker and she does regular videos that show like what she actually looks like and what she looks like with makeup. And I appreciate it. Also, this angle makes anybody look ugly and squishy, okay? Meh. Meh. I think I'll pass. This girl is the definition of catfish. I wouldn't necessarily say that she's the definition of catfish. Catfish is someone that pretends to be far better looking than they are. This girl purposefully makes her eyebrows and like her face uglier at the beginning so that the transition happens. It's like that much more shocking. She's actually a really pretty girl without makeup on, but she adds stuff to make her uglier. That 
doesn't seem fair. The men find out we can shapeshift, they're going to tell the church. I love it how like any video that actually shows the transition between like being an ugly woman with like a bunch of makeup on to make her look uglier. And then, you know, obviously with makeup on to make her look prettier. There is a very, very high chance that someone has written, don't take her swimming on the first date. Like literally every time. I actually think you should take them swimming. All that ugly makeup will wash off. The ugly version, not the pretty version. I'm so upset about this. Here we have Kim Kardashian's brand new Skims campaign. As you can see, it is completely photoshopped. Why? The reason I'm showing this to you guys is because I say this all the time, stop comparing ourselves to people we see online, especially celebrities, because- Look at that finger. This, this isn't even what they look like. They don't even look like themselves. No, they don't. And kind of the messed up thing is like, isn't Kim Kardashian taking like Ozempic? Ozempic is a drug that you actually have to inject that's for people with diabetes. And it also causes weight loss. So like, she's not only altering her appearance through medication that most of the world can't have access to. But she's also on top of that photoshopping. Like, can we all just like get rid of this idea that we all have to be a size zero in order to be beautiful? <laughs> Celebrities are the real catfish. Five, six. Zac Efron, five, eight. Zayn Malik, five, nine. Joe Jonas, five, seven. Kit Harrington, five, eight. Dave Franco, five, seven. Oh, dang. Oh. And now the tables have turned, haven't they? <laughs> it's so easy to call out the women. Easy to call out the women for wearing the makeup, right? But the thing is, is like men can't necessarily change their height. So I'm not sure if it's the same thing, but there's like actually a hefty amount of actors that aren't tall at all. For the record, I have no problem with short dudes. My boyfriend is a little bit shorter than me. Doesn't phase me, but I'm also a giant. So most people are shorter than me, including giants. <laughs> All right, there's a reason why I don't do these videos a lot. I think it's easy to get mad at celebrities for faking what they look like and the photoshopping and the beauty standards, et cetera, et cetera. But it's kind of like stemmed out into people judging people like this woman here who is constantly dealing with the negativity of, you know, oh, she's faking what she looks like. This is why I, men have trust issues, et cetera, et cetera. This woman is married, first of all. She has kids. She actually lost her teeth due to, I'm pretty sure she wasn't taking her neonatal vitamins. And I think that she actually maybe developed a disease, which is why she lost her teeth during pregnancy and childbirth. And there's a reason why she looks like that. And her husband chose to stay with her regardless of all of that. And I think it's easy to judge people. Oh, she's wearing so much makeup. Oh, I would never wear that much makeup. And it's just like, I can see why she does it. I can see that she wants to feel confident and she deserves to feel beautiful. And everyone deserves to put on a little bit of makeup, wear a nice dress and feel good about themselves, including this woman. What does it matter to you if she decides to put on a little bit of makeup? She has dentures now because of some horrible thing that happened in her life. I don't like doing these videos because I don't like judging people, okay? You you never know why someone does what they do. You never know why someone catfishes, so to speak. I think that both versions of her are real. There's the version that she shows her husband and her kids, and then there's the version that she shows the entire world. They're both her. They're just, you know, who she chooses to be in that moment. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Now this I could get into. Exposing catfishes at my school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for this, like a little bit here for this. Not gonna lie, but again, it's makeup. 
Everybody knows that women can shape shift, okay? Imagine if men could shape shift. It's not the same. Y'all already damn told the church on us. I love how we like pretend to have bigger butts than we actually do, you know? I always thought that having a butt was not attractive and now apparently it is attractive. It's so weird how like one person will find something attractive and then another one will totally hate it. Like I personally don't like it when my ass is huge. But now apparently I'm being told that I do need a big butt in order to be attractive. You other brothers can't deny. Also, can we just clock the fact that she's like totally sticking out her butt in like every photo and it's the angle. If you see this angle down below, like that, all right, cinched in waist. That person doesn't look like that. That is a catfish. Ooh, are we calling out some guys? Good, good, love it. I was meant to be on a date tonight with this man. And I've spent the last two weeks speaking to him every second of the day. I have practically fell in love. I've told everyone that I'm in love with him. Um, and I've been blocked prior to my date. As you can see here, the last time I heard from him, he said he was traveling, it won't be long, it'll take me 44 minutes. This was at three minutes to seven. It's now 10.36, I've been blocked, I can't contact him. His number is dead, as far as I know. I literally can't even call it. My friends tried to call it, nothing. It's like he's chucked the phone in the bin. His name is Mark, supposedly. He is 24. His date of birth is the 14th of August, 1997. Um, apparently he lives in Liverpool, um, he's got a brother called Jamie, who apparently is pictured above. So if anyone knows who this man is on the left, who is meant to be taking me on a date tonight, have I been speaking to you for the last two weeks or have I been speaking to a 45 year old man? I love how this woman is so f***ing gorgeous that she cannot fathom the possibility of him just not being interested. Or maybe he's dating someone and he got like caught on dating apps or maybe he started dating someone and it's not her. No, he must be a 45 year old man. Or he could be a catfish. Could go either way at this point. I also find it a little unbelievable that anyone would ghost this woman, but maybe he did just that. I don't understand what the point of this is, but I keep saying this all over Facebook. I'll randomly like get these pages that I don't follow and they'll post like pictures of celebrities and they're so f photoshopped. So this one's a picture of Rihanna. So I went on Google and I found the original pictures. This is the same exact photo. And here's the comparison. I couldn't find this photo kind of similar. I know it's like different angles and poses, but. And this isn't like Rihanna posting these edited photos. It's literally just some random ass Facebook page. Weird. Like, what's the point of it? Just to, like make people feel bad about themselves when people think that you're that beautiful and that skinny with a gorgeous body they're way more likely to click on the photo women are powerful creatures what can we say is it possible to learn this power that's kind of messed up though i've seen that a lot too with like celebrities then they'll take like old photographs and slap like a face filter on them and then all of a sudden it's like something's off about this why beautify the already most beautiful people in the world so we can sell them stuff you are not going to believe this what am i not going to believe babe <laughs> wow, you really be out here telling on yourself, aren't you? Hey, it's okay to put a little filter on every now and again. If it makes you feel beautiful, you don't feel like putting on makeup on, who freaking cares? But just know that you're gonna look back on those photos and be like, wow, I was so beautiful when I was young. And you're gonna get sad, cause that's not what you look like. Like forget about celebrities making themselves look weird. What about us? We're gonna look back on those photos and just think, wow, I'm just so fat and ugly now, aren't I? Look at me, look at me back then. Oh wait, that was in my Facetune era. I never looked like that. Just a reminder that you are beautiful and you don't need Photoshop. Quit being a catfish, damn. Subscribe.